we want to talk about one of the good old frames, Loki. And how could we potentially rework our good old Loki, the master of decoys and the what was supposed to be the master of manipulation and all that good stuff. Let's take a look on Loki's abilities. First is decoy. Uh, yeah, let's look at the passive first. Able to hang from walls 10 times longer than normal. Wiki says you can stay up to 60 seconds, which is kind of crazy. But the best question is, what the hell are you going to do while hanging from the wall? Which is, yeah. Uh, could you try and make a build for it? Sure. It kind of incentivizes you into looking into some different stuff. Maybe using the wall latch mods, all that good stuff and try to make something different. Yes. Do I think it's a good passive? I think it's a mediocre passive. How could we change the passive? Jesus Christ. I don't know, have a, I don't know, maybe keep this as a passive and add something extra. Reduce the chance of enemies hitting you, give Loki some passive evasion. I don't really know about the passive. Uh, making passives for frames might be much more difficult than making skills for frames. Maybe make something that enemies who are affected by Loki's abilities take increased damage from him. Or maybe they take increased damage from the, the whole team, the whole squad. Yeah, I really have to be creative with uh, Loki. Or maybe add something so Loki, I don't know, gets a bonus with finishers. Yeah, she would just need something extra. I don't really think <laughs> hanging from walls is, I don't know. Maybe hanging from walls would enhance his abilities, would add like more duration, more range. I don't know. This would have to be really worked into. Decoy. Uh. Uh. What to even talk about decoy? I. Seriously, guys, Decoy might have been an interesting idea back when Loki was created. I mean, after all, Loki was at some point he was on a, one of the starter frames. You could choose between him, Mag and Excalibur. So he's really old. Decoy makes doesn't make a lot of sense. Not every time that the decoy even works. And it makes even less sense of a hologram, holographic copy of himself to have health. Like, why? Why would it even have health? It's capable of dealing like impact puncture and slash procs, dealing pretty much no damage. I don't know. Maybe a completely re complete rework on this ability. I don't know. Or if you were to keep it, I don't know. Maybe remove the health or add some armor removal. Like enemies who attack the decoy get their armor removed. Or make if you want to keep the health, give it, I don't know, a radial. Pretty much to trigger a radial disarm on, on death 
would be already much, much interesting. Much more interesting. Maybe give it damage. But how's health? Give it damage. Like, why? One thing that I see it having a problem is against the infested. Usually when they have another target, they won't usually run to the decoy. I don't know how that works, but it's usually the ability I subsume on Loki because I don't know. People might have some uses for it. Uh, combining augments, making you uh, potentially invincible and stuff. I'm so not sure if that was a bug or a feature. So I heard people talking about it back in the back in the day. Not sure if it's still something that's around or anything like that. But yeah, invisibility. Invisibility is. Invisibility, you go stealth, super basic, probably the first, I'm not sure if this was like the first ever ability that allows you to go invisible in the game, if it, this was like the very first one, but it's plain and simple, and even says Loki camouflages himself, becoming invisible to the enemies maybe make it so you're able to make your allies invisible apply the camouflage to them i mean ash can make allies invisible octavia can make allies invisible wukong can make allies invisible you know ivara can make allies invisible why not Loki? Make him to be able to get everyone invisible. You know? I just think that we could have something extra going on with invisibility. It's plain and simple, but it could be better. You know? Switch teleport. Uh, might be the most niche ability in the game telling like it's super super niche for very 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 specific situations extremely niched and unique but unique doesn't make it good and switch teleport with enemies allies or even even a a mod that makes allies switched to get and yeah the safeguard switch is even there to get invulnerable and that's pretty interesting i would say that's so niched that would could possibly make loki viable for defense arbitrations to be like a last resort to save your your target your the tar defense target as it's a uh, uh, an NPC useful for what else disruption that's used for disruption you can pretty much just not have to kill any demo <laughs> and just keep them on pay it's so stupid that it yeah the faction Yep, you can teleport the dudes. I, I think you can teleport the dudes. I haven't tried it, but I, I've tried it with the arbitration guy. It, it, it works. So it, it could be something extra for defection. How good it is, not really sure. How better it is than just using a wisp, not really sure. It's a possibility. And could have something extra going on increase damage for allies give a something extra to allies i don't know make them faster make enemies slower little stuff would already make this more significant and we're getting to radio disarm radio disarm 
I would bet that 90% of you guys didn't get to play when this was super relevant and pretty much every group would have a Loki always casting Radio Disarm during the whole mission. This was so crazy. So, so crazy back in the day. And now guess what? I don't even know if Eximus gets disarmed from this. I have to test this. I, I really don't know. It just makes me almost... I don't know if, if this doesn't doesn't even work on Eximus or Loki. Here we got I got only one Eximus here. Time for the truth. Yeah. Big big yeah. Big 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 F. Yeah. Oh my god. And without overguard, it works. Oh, Eximus rework making everything obsolete sucks. Radio disarm even more now. The thing with radio disarm is radio disarm. If you really think about it, this falls down in the same type or has the same problem as desecrate desecrate used to be a use or pretty much a castable ability single cast just like radio disarm back in the day you used to have someone in the group who would pretty much sacrifice for the group this guy would need to play loki <laughs> loki this guy would need to play necros and spend the whole freaking mission. Pressing free. You would be pressing free all the freaking mission. To give everyone loot. That was a crappy mechanic. And they transformed Desecrate into a toggle ability. And that's exactly what they should do with Radio Disarm. Traits straight and plain and simple they should just make radio disarm a toggle ability even more now that we have these eximus units it, it's already a balancing stuff it's, it's already gonna be balanced you know you already have these freaking annoying things that are gonna ignore that completely and it will just run up to you and f you up in the face that, that's straight what's gonna happen gonna be good to have Loki being able to disarm everyone <laughs> without having to cast every time but you're gonna have to deal with the Eximus still you know it's it's not that hard just just make it a toggle make people happy you know like yeah it's crazy Eximus literally put it a nail in the coffin and that coffin has CC wrote on it. So at least make this a toggle ability. How to make it best? <laughs> make it a toggle and to work on Eximus. That would be the the best thing. Because I don't don't really know if this would be enough incentive to make so people make radio disarm at Loki again. Really no idea. Used to be the king for interception. If we really stop to think about the missions that we can rely on CC, it's gonna be interception. If we're not going against the corpus, it's gonna be excavation. Uh, mobile defense and that's pretty much it we don't have a, a endless mission with mobile defense i think i don't even know if this would have any use for like void uh, zeraman missions maybe void cascade you could disarm everyone could be another possibility 
Yeah, or even Void Armageddon. Could make Loki a viable pick. But just having to cast this every time is terrible. Very terrible. Yeah, let me know how would you, you rework Loki. Let me know in the comments below. Bye.